Hey, it's I don't know what's RC, and this is the first part of my collecting money making guide sponsored by S and Dicing. This is the second section of my money making guide series, the first one being item storing. In this video, I will show you how to make a lot of cash by collecting more fungus, taking into account the new updates and a quite unique technique. As you can see, collecting more fungus is a great way to get money. You can make around 700k to 1.2 million GP per hour. Unfortunately, you do not get any experience while collecting more fungus. In this video, we'll show you three different methods. So the first one is simply running from the cannabis bank to the swamp and using prayer potion to restore your prayer points. The second method involves your personal own house. So you will have to have a natlor and a carrier teleportal in your house and you will be using the Canifis bank. Finally, the last method, but also the most efficient one, is to use the deposit box inside the swamp and using prayer potion to restore your prayer points. For those who are thinking that using prayer potion is a waste of cash, if you do the maths, you will find out that using them allow you to get way more more fungus and even more cash per hour. Okay, so the minimal requirement to collect more fungus is to have done the quest Nature Spirit, to access the swamp where the more fungus are. The summoning requirements are only optional, but I took them into account to calculate the GP per hour for each method. The very first thing you need to do is to access the east part of RuneScape where Canifis and the swamp are. The easiest way to get there is to use the Lumberyard Teleport, which can be bought at the Drenic Change. The fastest way to get there is to use the Carrel Teleport, from the ancient spellbook or from your personal own house. And you can also use a slayer ring, a fairy ring, which the code is CKS, or even a dig site pendant. The way to collect more fungus is quite unusual. First of all, you will need to find a rotten log in the swamp, then use the bloom option of your silver sickle bee to create more fungus. However, doing this will decrease your prayer points by 10 or 60. Every log around you while using the bloom option of your silver sickle have a chance to become more fungus. So the strategy is to find a spot where there are 3 logs around you. Ok, so let's talk about the first method. The only thing you will need is a prayer potion and a silver sickle bee in your equipment. You can also bring the best beast of burden you can summon. The first method is the easiest, but it is quite slow. So you run from the Canifis bank to the Mort Fungus spot where there is a yellow circle. It's important to go there because it's near the fence and there are three logs around you. And when your inventory is full, you simply run back to the Canifis bank. Don't forget that you can skip any part of this video by clicking the skip button in the top right corner of the screen. Okay, so from the Canifis bank, run west and I'll zip it south to reach the swamp. Once you're there, open the gate and go to the spot I showed before in the little map. It's not very far from the gate. So once you're in the exact spot, you will start casting the bloom option. I will show this part more in detail later in this guide. Okay, so when your inventory is full, you simply go back to the bank. So you run north east. You open the gate once again, and then you run east all the way to the bank. Now use the quick bank option, drop everything in your inventory and in your family hall, and then withdraw a prayer potion because your prayer point will be lowered. Now let's talk about the method 2, so instead of having prayer potions, you will have teleport to house teletab. 
So like the first method, you will run from the Canifis bank to the Mort fungus spot where there is a yellow circle. And now what's different is that you will use teleport to house teletap to go to your personal own house. And in your house, you will use your Aklawar and then your Karel teleportal to be teleported directly next to the Canifis bank. Okay, so run west and then a little bit south, like you did with the first method. So now open the gate and then go southwest where the special spot is. So right there. Now use the bloom option and as I said before, I will explain this later in this guide, how to do this very efficiently. Now when your inventory is full of more fungus, you use your teleport to house clip tab. To go inside your house. Don't forget to change the settings so you appear inside and not outside. Now create your Atlar to restore all your frequencies and then go to the teleportal room. So use the Karel teleport and you will be in Canifis. So simply run east to the Canifis bank and drop everything in your inventory and in your familiar. and repeat again and again. Now I will show you how to collect more fungus efficiently. So first of all go to the spot I show where there are true logs, then use your bloom option. The strategy is to always end with the northern log. The reason is that by doing this you will always end up in the right position to cast the bloom option once again. So as you can see while I'm collecting the northern log last, I'm always in the center, right in the right spot. You can also try to make your screen smaller, so your boom option is near the logs. For the third and most efficient method, you will need to summon a base of burden and fill it with prayer potion. You will also need another base of burden pouch in your inventory so you can renew its timer. You can also bring few prayer potion and a holy branch from the room deal quest with a reverence aura. Those two items will help you increase your amount of cash will make per hour because they increase the amount of prayer points you get back when drinking a prayer potion. The strategy for the third method is not at all like the first two methods. So basically you will camp in the swamp near the deposit box. So no running needed. As you can see the spot is different from the two other methods as well. Okay, so first of all, make sure that your Beast of Burden is filled with Prayer Potion, it's very important. Now, let's go to the Mort Fungus spot, so it's southwest, a little bit souther than the other spot you use for the first and second method. So this is the deposit chest where you will bank all the Mort Fungus you will collect. So go to this spot right there where there are three logs and now use the bloom option of your silver sickle so this will create more fungus simply collect them and then go back to the spot in the center so simply take them go back to the center cast the bloom option once again if you have a reverence aura don't forget to activate it and if you have a holy grant don't forget to put it in your inventory so simply do this again and again until your inventory is all full. Okay, so now my inventory is full, so I can simply go bank, it's only one click away. So you click deposit, you select all your more fungus and now you go back to the spot where you were. Now you can use your prayer potion to restore your prayer points when needed and if you ever need more prayer potion you simply click on your family or and there are plenty of prayer potions so you can stay there a lot of time. This is a little summary for the gain and cost of each method. As you can see even if you're using prayer potion for the third method you still get way more cash than with the second method which doesn't need prayer potions. <laughs>